This is a great idea. I don't see this going wrong at all. Second thought. I see it going wrong in every single way possible. Peeps, this one has a lot of transparency. We have a Heaven Hill product, Evan Williams single barrel. This is the 2013 vintage. This has so much transparency on the label, it's ridiculous. So it calls out it was put into oak in 2013. Obviously it's Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, single barrel vintage, 43.3% ABV. It was barreled on September 4th, 2013 Barrel number 524 and bottled on May 6th, 2021. That makes this eight years old. Not quite, but almost. Honestly, I'm actually a pretty big fan of Evan Williams. I like their flavor profile for a cheap whiskey. I'd drink this any day over the... I drink this any day of the week over Jack Daniels. This baby is $30. This is said to be 78% corn, no Wally, 10% rye, 12% barley. It's, it's literally every video. It's so annoying. Just keep in mind, this is, in my opinion, a little more harsh on the flavor profile than say you would get from a Jack Daniels black. Ooh, lots of cherry. Ooh, like the cherries that you put on like ice cream. Those maraschino. Let's go with that. Peeled cinnamon apple. There's a note in this that is super weird. It's like a, a burnt sweetness. Let's keep it with whiskey, charred honey. Yeah, I can get behind that. It's like a light sweetness, mm, honey. Yes, I'm gonna go with that, charred honey. There's quite a bit of oak in it as well and a little bit of walnut, which kind of helps out with that low ABV on the palate. Comparing this with Wild Turkey Single Barrel blew me away compared to this, I will say. Oh. What it does do though is I got like a apple, like a, quite a bit of apple. I don't usually get like a really prominent apple out of it or out of whiskey bourbons but that one I actually got quite a bit of uh, apple on that second sip there very interesting let's see what happens with some water been heavy on the water pours lately a bit more clove and spice for sure on the nose I was letting it sit in my mouth and it wasn't really doing much of anything. Without water, it was doing a little something. With water, it doesn't really do nothing. And then after a little bit of time, you do get a spike of just all the flavors all at once. For value, it's a six out of 10. For an overall rating, I will say Evan Williams Single Barrel Vintage 2013 Gets frozen aisle buffalo chicken wings, obviously with some blue cheese. May the roof above us never fall in, and we friends beneath never fall out. Cheers.